there's no doubt that literature in terms of plays, essays, blogs, etc., can have some impact on political discourse. However, I want to say a few words about prose, which in my opinion is something different. First of all, I want to explain what kind of literature I am trying to write and why I do so. If you take the findings of physics, psychology, and the neurosciences about the doubtful, problematic character of human cognition seriously, it seems hard to understand why the novel and narrative literature in general, focusing on the most popular and by far best-selling type of literature, still dominates prose nearly 100%. Not only that, it dominates with an aesthetic concept of the 19th century that pretentiously reflects the ability not only to recognize reality, but also de to describe it, regardless of any modern vanguard or experimental dictions existing today. This is even more surprising when you bear in mind that reality, even if recognizable, could not be described with words and I'm only talking of one single reality and won't mention all the potential and innumerable other realities which, for example, quantum theory and all serious physicists take for granted. Holding on to an obsolete mode of thought and expression, writing novels, stories, and most horribly so-called sagas, which obviously have no aesthetic or cognitive benefit, can only be explained by the need for a simplified representation of the world and its reality. Comparable to the strategy of explanation given young kids by telling them fairy tales. Only to be aware of the fact that a very small part of so-called reality is observable by human senses can broaden one's horizon and prevent narrow-mindedness. Facing up and not turning a blind eye to complexity can prevent simple answers. And this indeed can have a high political impact in the long run. Holding on to the simplifying kind of literature negates itself as a serious form of art. I deny myself the absurdity of telling that something is and something is not. That something is like this and something is like that. I am doing this in the manuscript I am currently working on, titled The Lifting, Pushing and Pulling Forces of Statics, Volume 1, by combining sentences that have no semantic references at all among themselves. Simultaneously, I try to establish an alternative order, which is based on qualities, qualities intrinsic to speech, like rhythm, melodic structures, and sound. Starting with simple sentences, which are balanced separately and proportionately in relation to the surrounding clusters in a quasi-static sta way, I little by little try to develop more complex structures, which in the end substitute semantics, syntax, and grammar without turning into babble. <coughs> A new order takes the place of the old one. By creating a new form of complexity that at first sight is not easy to decode, I refer to the ignored intricacy of our world and make it a little bit harder to ignore. Facing the multi-layered reality by literature seems to me the silver bullet for the return of prose literature from craft work back to artwork. Being part of the literary business which the need of publishing a new and possibly best-selling book every two years, one has no chance of really dealing with reality in the way just described. So the first and most important thing to me is forget about the literary business when you are trying to produce literature. Second, don't think in time spans of two or three years, but of at least five, better 10 or 20 years. Marcel Proust, for example, put 15 years into his A la recherche du temps perdu. Robert Musil needed 20 on Der Mann ohne Eigenschaften. And nearly 100 years have passed since then, when reality was so much easier than today. 
So why do we think we can produce something relevant in only two years? But this, only, but this also means there is no fast prose answer to current politics. It is even difficult for poetry and poets. Think of the poem that at least had some political impact. In my opinion, it has been one by Günter Grass entitled Was gesagt werden muss, written in 2012, in which he claims that Israel should not get any submarines from Germany because it would make a military conflict with Iran more likely. The point here is any statement by the Nobel Prize winner Günter Grass would have attracted the same attention. He could have said something with Scrabble letters on a table. And this so-called poem wasn't much more than Scrabble. So I think by calling his comment, his comment a literary or even poetic one is an apt use of literature since it's, it had no literary qualities at all. One may say only the result of the intervention is important, but I don't think so. This will lead literature to not having any standards of quality whatsoever, and this will draw the capability of an overall alternative draft to the old predominant conditions, which in my opinion would be the worst case scenario. Participation of authors, like any other reasonable person, in political discourse is desi desirable, of course, and participation may come in writing, but shouldn't always be taken for literature. Let literature and prose specifically be the fundamental research leading to political and social action because of its power that lies in the ability to ask elementary, not necessarily quick questions. Thank you. <laughs>